Hey guys, what is going on and welcome back to Jay's Cinema. Today we have an awesome, simple, block-to-block -block Minecraft modern house for you guys. Hopefully you do enjoy. My name is Smooth as Boss, just sit back, relax, and uh, we should be good to go. Make sure to go check out my channel, it will be in the description. And uh, yeah, let's get straight into this. I'm going to just list the materials that you will be needing for this simple modern house in Minecraft. So, you're going to need white wool. Uh, gray wool, stone, just the normal stone, no like cracked stone or anything, just stone, um, white stained glass, normal glass panes, and cobblestone walls. Now on the end, I've got some string and some carpet, maybe for a little balcony design that we're going to be going for, um, not too short just yet. So, we're going to get our white wool, and we are just going to be placing our first block just about here. Pretty, pretty simple stuff. And we're going to hop along one, two, three, and four, like that. Now we're going to take it up by one two three four and we should be good so let's bring that up and you should have a four by four little square just chilling there let me turn my fov down to normal for a second there we go should be able to see that a little bit better now okay i think we're going to take it up by one more so you'll have a four by five and that should be good now what we're going to be doing is making sure we have a two height ceiling now let's hop back one two and place one two three and we should be pretty good. And take that up to match the height of the first wall we placed. So you should have something looking a little bit like so. Okay, so this is going to be our little door entrance area. And that should be pretty fine and all. Um, but basically, we're going to have a 1, 2, 3, 4 height door. Okay, so the door is going to be 4 in height. Which uh, is absolutely amazing. So what we can do is bring 1, 2, 3 across. And then bring up 1, 2, 3, 4. To match this so we've got this little doorway entrance um going on just in here so you have to walk in and then you'll be walking into the house which isn't much of a house yet but hopefully uh we will have that by the end of this tutorial um so now what we're going to be doing is having a little modern overhang so if we take this out one and delete this block here we're going to take this along one two three four and five just for now okay we're going to leave it by five so you should have something like this and what we can do is take it out one more maybe like this i like that i think that's enough of an overhang for it to look pretty stellar honestly um, it's gonna look pretty cool indeed okay so what we're gonna do is bring this out another two or maybe a one let's see um i think we'll bring it out just that one okay and bring it out like this so it should be one two three four five six in length in total uh on this side we're just gonna bring it back in one two three four five and six Matching up to here, and it should all be good. Now what we can do is take this along here, just like this. And we could also match it up, honestly, like this. You should have a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 there, and a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, just there. And it should look a little bit like so. Okay, now what we can do is fill this little gap in here, which is absolutely fine and no problem at all. Very, very simple. Make sure you drop a like on this video, guys, to show us here on Cinema that you would like more Minecraft tutorials. Absolutely perfect. I think that is pretty perfect. I like that. I do like that. So, we're going to go in and we're going to grab our... Let's see, where is it? Our snow. Um, actually, we can go in and grab our quartz. That should be fine. And put it in our blank space just there. This is going to be our ceiling height. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Uh, I'm just going to make a 6 by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. A 6 by 6 block just to let us know where our ceiling is. Um, in the house, you know, I just want to give a little tip for modern building You always want to have a two block height ceiling So we're gonna have this here and then we're gonna grab our birch wood replace it with a quartz and make a one two three four five six Little block there that is gonna be our floor for the next um, level So floor two of the house will have a birch flooring and um, That is why we have this little two block so ceiling and then flooring and uh, now we can work around that And so we don't get confused Okay, so what we need to be doing now is working on this little overhang. We're going to take it up one, two, three, four, five, and six, and seven. Pretty nice, I think. And maybe just six. I think that's a bit too high. Uh, but I'm going to go with six for now, and that should be all good. Um, and we're going to take it back one, two, three, four, like so. And then we're going to take it up one, two, three, four, five, and it should match perfectly. Um, with that little thing we got going there. I kind of like that. I think that's um, 
That's pretty sweet indeed. Even what we could do is take it up one more this side and one a long. So nothing too tricky, but hopefully you guys got this. Now, we're going to cut out a slit. You may be thinking why, but you know, it's, it's going to look cool. Don't you guys worry. We're going to bring it back there with a great block of wool. And we're going to bring it up one, two, three, four, five, and six, like so. Now, we're just going to bring it up to the side. And this is going to make a modern little insert in the house. Just give it a little bit of color, uh, spice it up a little bit. You know, hopefully you guys can appreciate that. I think we can bring it along the top now and hopefully have something a little bit like so. I'm liking this. I really am liking this. So we can bring this back one, two, three, four, five, six, and that should be fine. Let's bring that down here and fill it in at the side. So we have no gap to look into on the side because there is going to be more of the house on this side. So we don't want to have a gap uh, anywhere near there. Now, I was thinking of having a cool little white window here. So what we're going to be doing is filling up this because we don't want to be seeing the flooring now, do we? Because, uh, of course, that's all going to be birch wood. And we're going to grab our white glass and place one, two, three, four, and maybe five. I think five. There we go. And we're just going to place it all along here like that. Boom, 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 boom. Oh, like so. There we go. And fill all this in with white wool. Like that. So that is what you should be having so far. Now, I think I want to bring this up by one more along the top. Simply because we need double height ceilings on the top as well. Remember that. Um, boom. And, of course, we need to take it along at the side as well. So it should, all in all, look something like this. And that means this window is probably going to have to come up also. So, like that. I think that's pretty perfect, actually. Like, I don't mind this house at all. Okay, so, now we're going to come in behind here, and we're on the one, two, three, four. On the fifth block, we are going to be placing one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. So, you should have something looking a little bit like this. Okay? Now, we're going to bring it along one, two, three. Uh, yes, I think that should be good. And we're just going to bring that up to match the top of the build, like so. Now we're going to belong 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7, like that. Giving us this little modern shape at the side, which is absolutely perfect. And we're just going to place a block there, like so. Now this is where your string comes in. We're going to place 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and take it along 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. You should have a little balcony design coming on just up the top of there, which is absolutely fab. Okay, now at the bottom here, we're going to grab our grey wall and place one, two, three, and four. And that should be absolutely fine there. Uh, nothing to worry about. We're going to take this along, uh, let's see, one, two, three, four. Oh, we're just going to fill this in. I don't need to count that. Uh, you guys will be able to understand. And we're also going to take it in one, two, three, four, five. So we're going to turn the weather to clear. This here should be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 now. And that should get us on our way for the next part of the build. Okay, very, very nice. Now, out the side here, we're going to bring along 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And that should give us enough room to bring it back. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. Okay, and now we're just going to bring this back here. And we're going to fill all of this in like so. Okay, so you should have it all being filled in absolutely perfectly okay there we go let's see take this along take this along perfect we have our little balcony coming along quite nicely now we're going to take it along one two three four five six at the top and we're going to loop it back around to match the rest of the house here okay so it's very very simple we just match it to the bottom bit that we did and we will be on our way so now at the back we're going to join it up to the top Join it up to the top, and we're going to fill this in all with white wool. So don't worry, it's just filling it in, no measurements needed. Fill, 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 until it is done. Okay, so, now what we have from the front is this cool little shape going on. I like it, I really do. So, now we're going to play string, one, two, three, four, five bits of string, and then one, two, three, four, five bits of carpet on top of that to complete the little banister there. Pretty sweet, huh? I think so. I think so. Okay, so now at the front, I think we're going to bring this up one more, honestly. Um, So it goes like this. We could go even one more, I think. Maybe, maybe, maybe one more. What does that look like? 
Yes, yes, that's what we're going to do. Okay, so here is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now, and we're going to take it along. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. That should be fourteen blocks. Okay, and we're just going to honestly fill that in with our white wall. And this is just going to mask out a little, little wall that we got going on, honestly. And that should be pretty pretty awesome and we can craft that out later with some windows some doors and all that good stuff that makes a modern house at the end so this is what we have got going we're going to continue this on one two three four five six seven eight nine ten um and eleven i think we're gonna go with eleven pretty sweet pretty sweet and we take along one two three four five six seven eight nine ten and we're just going to join it up along the top here and we should have another balcony on this side, and that will be all brilliant. I think that works pretty well, honestly. So we're going to take this along. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. And take this along. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And then, of course, join it on with the top like we've been doing for the rest of the house. Now, what we can be doing is filling in this little roof here. Um, honestly, that's what we've got to be doing here. Let's see. Fill all of this in. Nice and good. Perfect, perfect, perfect stuff. Boom. Okay, let's see. Fill this side in as well because, of course, this is the balcony. There's going to be no lights in the ceiling, no any of that business. And what we might have to do is put carpet over the roof later. So, bear that in mind. There's going to be a lot of carpet placing, honestly. So, fill all of this in. Perfect, perfect stuff. Okay, so we do have this on this side now, and the house is kind of coming together as you guys can see. So we're going to be taking this little part here back. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, and we're just gonna we're just gonna work with that and take it back and fill it all in, looking all mighty fine and dandy. So filling all that in, seven blocks down from where we started, should be looking a little bit like this from the side here. Now. Other side, we're going to be coming to about here, okay? So, one, two, three blocks in and leaving a one block gap from in between the door area. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I think seven's fine and we're going to take it up. One, two, three, four, five, and six. We're going to break six and we're going to bring along one, two, three, and it should connect to the first block of this part here. Now, what we're going to be doing is just bringing that up and this is going to be a little divider just to add something on this side of the build. And uh, make it look, you know, a little bit more interesting. Give it a little bit more depth because modern houses do need depth. So as you can see, it kind of levels out the areas that we have there. Which is absolutely fine and is what we needed. Now on the bottom of this side, we're just going to be filling this in. I didn't realize we hadn't done that already. So just make sure you fill all of this in, guys. Absolutely fine. It shouldn't be too hard to follow. Hopefully I'm not going too fast for you guys. And it is working absolutely fine. Make sure to go check out my own channel. Like I said, I think a link will be in the description, top line. And uh, I do all of these modern houses. I've just done a modern apartment building you guys would probably like if you're watching this video. Um, lots of vehicle tutorials in Minecraft. Everything you need um, on my channel for you guys to check out. Honestly, I recommend it. <laughs> I would recommend it. So, we've got this kind of looking thing going on. I'm liking this. I'm liking this indeed. We are going to be taking this out. Another 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and 11. And I think that should do us pretty good. We're going to bring this along. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. And that should join in there, which is what we need. Now, we're going to bring this up. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And we can bring this along at the top, connecting this little wall there. Absolutely perfect. What are you thinking, guys? Leave a like if you are enjoying the house so far. Okay. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And joining up, of course, on this side is what we need. Perfect, perfect, perfect. And, of course, we're going to be joining it across there as well. We've just been connecting the dots. Honestly, that's what it is. It's like a paint by numbers, or uh, that kind of thing, uh, which is awesome. It really is quite awesome. So, let's see at the front here. I kind of want to mimic this window. So, let's change the weather to clear. We don't want any of that rain. Let's bring this along at the bottom, filling in. So you should have that on the back. And we're going to be placing one, oh, two, three, four, five glass panes like so. Taking it up now and taking it across like so. One, two, three, four, five, six, like that. 
Now we're going to be filling in all of this with our white wool. And of course, we're going to be making our little modern cut uh, in at just the side. So let's place one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then come in one and place. Oh, didn't mean to delete that there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Gray wool. Giving us that kind of modern cutout that we have on the front. And uh, that should be good, honestly. Let's fill that in just at the bottom here. All, all perfect stuff. Now, we are going to be having a one, two, three, four, five. Six block little wall coming up there. We should be absolutely fine. Take it along. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. And that should be perfect. Bring it up one, two, three, four. Okay. So that's what we should be having right now. And let's also take this along. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Joining that in just there, which is absolutely freaking perfect and is what we need. Now on the inside, we are just going to be filling up this little area with quartz because that is our ceiling, like I said, right at the start. And this means that we can put some, you know, beacons, stuff like that inside, which is going to be absolutely awesome. So let's fill this in at the front with white wall, actually. So let's see. We need that to be white wall, that to be white wall. This is just common sense, this part, guys, with the ceiling. You want to know, you want to bring the white wall to there and then bring the ceiling to where the ceiling would actually go. So that's absolutely fine. Let's bring all of this along. This is all going to be ceiling, which is, you know, absolutely fine. What we could do is fill this in as well, because there's going to be walls going up to that, which is all, all cool. Perfect, perfect stuff. Okay, so this is going to be the ceiling for the first floor. Let's see, let's see. Boom. And we could also bring it along here, because there's going to be walls connecting to the bottom. We won't be able to see that. So, when you're standing inside now, this is what you're going to be seeing. A nice, white, modern, flush ceiling. And on the top, we're going to be uh, filling it in with our birch wood. Because this is, of course, the flooring for this uh, for this certain build. Now, don't worry about this. Let's see. Fill this in to uh, one, two, three, four. So you have a four block gap um, here on the balcony. And what we can do here on this wall is take this up. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. So you have a five block little thing going on there and do exactly the same. So we're leaving a little block gap. Okay. Just remember that. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven blocks showing there. And that should all be good. Now we can fill the rest of this in like so. Um, this should all be perfect, honestly. Let's do all of this. Well, I thought I heard something behind me then. I, I really did uh, kind of crap myself there. Jeez, I, I thought I could hear something behind me. Um, in my house. Okay, so filling all this in. Boom, boom, boom. Little gap here. Let's get that done. This house is looking pretty good. If you think so yourself, put that in the comment section. Honestly, uh, what do you think of this house? I'd love to hear your feedback. Me and Jay's would love to uh, see what you guys want to see. Um, and see if you guys have built this yourselves. Now, we're going to go in and grab ourselves our birch uh, stairs. And we're going to place one, two, three, four here. So we've got our little drop down to our balcony area. And we're going to place one, two, three. And I think what we can do is place one, two, three, four, five wool. And uh, we could also, let's see, bring it out a little bit. One, two, three, like that. And what we could do is place one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve pieces of glass there and make a little window. I'm liking that. Actually, I think we should go by two by two. So make sure to place four wall blocks there. And you should have something looking a little bit like that. Perfect, perfect stuff. Okay, so. Now, coming out the side of here, we're going to be want to place in one, two, three, four, five pieces of wall and filling that into there. So, three along and just filling it up to the top, making sure it connects into that wall there. Perfect, perfect stuff. Now, we can go back in and we can grab our string. And, oh, that's a potion bottle. Definitely not the string. And again, oh my god, I can't click today. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight pieces of string there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten pieces of string there. And bring it along with carpet all the way like this. Okay, so you should have something looking a little bit like that, which is absolutely awesome. Really, really liking that kind of style uh, with the balcony. Don't worry about this overhang. There will be some supports under there if you guys are you know, freaking out about there not being enough supports. Do not fear. I feel like we should bring this wall back a little bit like so. Absolutely perfect. Absolutely perfect indeed. Okay, so now, let's just see here. 
at the back. What I want to do is take this along one, two, three, and fill that up to the top. We're going to need some windows. That's exactly what we need in this house. It doesn't really have enough of them, I don't think. Okay, actually... Oh, weather clear again. It seems to rain a lot on this single player world. Holy moly. Take this along by three as well, guys. So you should have one, two, three here and one, two, three there. And we should have this kind of centered area like so. Now, what I want to do is break the two in the middle. Bring these up also at the sides. And this is going to be a little door area, I think. And what we can do is just take them across as well. So there we're going to have a door coming out into this little side area, which will have like maybe some recycling bins. Um, something a little bit like that and here we're gonna need our back door so let's match that to the front so let's see so four away from the wall you're gonna have a two block gap which will resemble our door and then I think we can just place a load of blocks to cover this up okay so you should be filling in this blank space on this wall and we should have something looking a little bit like that which is pretty awesome I think now at the side I kind of wanted to add a window so let's place one two three four five six seven eight and we are going to go in and grab ourselves some anvils and now you may be thinking why are we grabbing some anvils for some windows that doesn't make any sense uh lewis or smithers uh we're gonna place under here some little bits of wool break and this is a good tip for lighting anywhere in a modern house you're gonna grab the 1.8 sea lanterns or beacons or glowstone whatever floats your boat i like these because they look kind of modern and we're gonna place two anvils over like so now we're gonna go in and re obtain our stained glass i'm pretty sure that was the wrong color white stained glass is what we needed and we're going to place one two three four five six seven and eight and you should have that there and this anvil under there just gives some depth and uh, looks pretty awesome i think don't you look at that window looking all sweet and awesome down in there so uh, we're going to come to the side here and we're going to place a little bit there and this is going to be our door remember so there boom place our stuff there sea lanterns anvils and then we're just going to place up there and we're going to have a little doorway. I'm liking that. I really am. Okay, so here we're going to do the same. We're going to have our little door entrance. Grab our wall. Fill in. Sea lanterns. And then anvils. And then the glass going up. Absolutely perfect. Jeez, this place is looking pretty, pretty sweet. Um, Maybe we could put a window next to it like that. I feel like that maybe could work. So what about we try that? Just now, boom, boom, like so. Grab our wall, place that just under there. And uh, give us a little window in here. What does that look like? Maybe if we fill that in over the top. Boom. Nice stuff. Nice freaking stuff. Okay, so now for under here, we're going to need some supports. Now we're going to go in and we're going to grab some cobblestone walls. We already had them there, but you know, never mind. Uh, it's all cool. It's all cool. So from the front, let's look. Where do we need a support? I'm thinking one just here like so. And let's bring it down. One, two, three, and four, and five. Touching the ground. And we should have this little look here. Absolutely freaking perfect. Now we're going to do that one in exactly the same here. So you come one to the side, one back, and one, two, three, four, oh, five down like so. I'm liking that. It just gives it some support and makes it look a bit more realistic, you know. I really do kind of like where that is going i think we're gonna grab some gray wool now and we're gonna place one two three like so bring it along one two three four like that and uh also five so it's five wide and we're just gonna bring it up to the top i think let's see so it matches up to here okay so it's a little square cubicle and that just gives us a little bit inside for an indoor bathroom um something like that i like that look at that Awesome, awesome stuff. So, we kind of need to work on this little area here. So, this is where we're going to have some white wall place. One, two, three, four, five. And we're going to break in the ground just here and do our little anvil technique. So, fill in the walls at the side like we've been doing. Sea lanterns all around. So, that's three in total just along this little strip. And then one, two, three anvils like that. One, two, three, four like this with uh, the glass. And then... Uh, let's see, we want to place one, two, three, four like that, which gives us also entry to the house. Now, the house itself is going to have a little break here, because remember we added, oh, let's do it actually there, so centered. So that is one away from the wall here, and this is going to be our little uh, indoor bath area, or like a little, little toilet, little cubby toilet under here. So we're going to break this, and we're going to add, let's see, I think we should go with quartz. 
Um, that's kind of a, a bathroom. Oh, maybe chiseled quartz in the Flows HD texture pack. The texture pack will be uh, in the description. I guess I could ask Jace to put it in the description. It's Flows HD 1.8 version. Um, very, very simple to find, honestly. We're going to go in and we're going to grab our birch, um, birch flooring. And we're going to fill all of this in here. I'm going to turn my sounds down because it is hella loud. Um, and we're just going to fill all of this in. And it should look pretty awesome, honestly. So let's do that right now. And uh, how are you guys all doing, actually? I just want to ask that. I know it's not my channel, but I still feel like, uh, you know, we should connect with you guys. How are you guys doing? Hopefully you're having a fabulous day, whatever you've been doing, you know. Uh, work, school. I know it's all kind of uh, frustrating sometimes. But hopefully um, you guys are doing good and having yourselves an awesome, awesome day. So, like I said, filling in all this flooring on the inside. And it should be pretty easy for you guys. Uh, boom, 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 boom. Okay, filling all this in. The birch just kind of looks really, really nice. Modern kind of flooring, like uh, kind of laminate tiles or slabs um, that you'd find in a real modern house. And of course, for the bathrooms, we've gone with ourselves the chiseled quartz. So, that's absolutely fine, honestly. So, work all this out. And on the downstairs, you know, we can have a little kitchen down here, um, a little living area, all of that good stuff. So, now what we have to do is kind of work a little bit on the exterior. So, what I want to do is grab myself some stone. Get rid of all this. We don't really need it for now. Um, and the house is very nearly finished, as you can see. So what we're going to do is we're going to place a little bit of stone going all along here. You should be able to just see what I'm doing. It's kind of free, free in width. Well, no, free in length, maybe. No, free in width. And uh, all behind here, we're going to have some stone as well. Take it along. Free as well, just so it matches, okay? And this is the thing with the house. The exterior is actually your decision. I'm just here to give you a bit of inspiration. As you can see, I've just chosen stone all around there like that. And we're going to bring it around, two away from this, and into this little courtyard area here. So, let's get rid of all of this here. Boom, 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 boom. And it should be looking pretty good once we got this going. Stone just gives it that modern look, you know, that we need in this house. Filling all of this good stuff in. Oh, okay. All in, remember. Oh, change that weather to sun again. We don't want that rain. Why does it keep raining? I wonder. Bad luck, maybe. Bad luck. It is raining here in England today, so maybe that's why Minecraft wants to correspond to the, the, the shitty weather here uh, over in England. Okay, so we got that going on. And that should be pretty... Oh, we have a little area up here to finish. I didn't even see that. Holy moly. Okay, so we want to fill this in with white, of course. Cover that up. Um, and I think we're just going to go... With a little window at the side here. So, let's see. We're going to bring along one, two, three, like so. Um, and I'll just give you the measurements in just a second here. This is one, two, three, four, five long. And this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight long. Okay. And I think we're just going to fill in a little window at the side here. Honestly, I don't see the harm in having a window. Should be pretty good, actually. Okay, let's see. Boom, 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 boom. Boom, 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 boom. There, there we go. Perfect. Little window at the side there. I, I didn't even see that we had that, honestly. Um, but it's pretty cool that it's there anyhow. We're going to grab our green and blue wool. You could honestly grab whatever you guys wanted, honestly. Um, and we're going to place them here, like so. And we are going to get ourselves some iron trapdoors. And just place them on the top like that. They just act as little like recycling bins, you know. Just We're role-playing this. It's Minecraft. We've got to add some realism up in here. Okay, so now what I wanted to do is grab myself some coarse dirt. And some normal dirt. And what we're going to be doing is placing a little flower bed in front of here. So, we're going to dig up a 2 by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, um, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Okay, so 18 blocks by 2. Okay, and we're just going to sprinkle some dirt in there. Like so. And the rest is going to be all coarse dirt. Which is like a darker, more uh, like husky mud colour. Uh, which is absolutely fine, you know. Uh, boom, and what we're going to be doing is grab our spruce leaves, jot them down a little bit, uh, making them look all, all like cool, just in a random order, honestly guys, you don't have to put them in any like certain order, that's not like what this is about, this is about just uh, sprinkling a little bit of detail over the place, now, let's see, we need to add some tall grass, which is going to look pretty, pretty cool, um, maybe one behind there, behind there, and we should be good, maybe at the front there as well, that's pretty cool, 
uh, large ferns also do the trick. Uh, remember to balance your landscaping out is what I always tell people in my videos on my channel. Um, like I said, link in the description. Um, always balance your landscaping out. Honestly, it, it does make a huge, huge difference to the build if your landscaping looks balanced. Um, let's put some grass there, some grass there. Grass, 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 grass. And then our little white azure bullets, just to sprinkle a little bit of white into the into the landscaping here. Um, perfect. Uh, one there as well. We can grab also our uh, white tulips and small ferns and just whack them down uh, in place there. Uh, let's see, actually put that there. Hmm. I want to whack a, a little white tulip down somewhere as well. Maybe if we replace that one with a tulip. Perfect. Look at that. See, look how much a little bit of landscaping can change a build completely. Carry on this stone uh, around the side here. And I think to there, honestly, is where we're going to take the stone. Um, which is going to be absolutely fine. Okay, so bring this along all around the house. Continue it all the way around. And what it should do is match up to this one here. Okay, so you should have that going there uh, with the stone. So we're just going to fill that in now. Um, and I think we should be very, very nearly done. Which is absolutely awesome. I mean, we completed a house in, in no time, really. Um, which is great stuff, you know, great, great stuff. Um, I will leave the interior up to you guys on this house, honestly. Let's turn these sounds again. Oh, damn, they're loud. <laughs> um, I will leave the interior to you guys, honestly. That's your decision, uh, your creativity. I'm just here to give you the house. You guys splash your interior. And if you do do the interior, maybe tweet me a picture or Jay's a picture on Twitter. Um, I'm sure the Twitters will be in the description, or mine won't, but uh, his definitely will. My Twitter is at SmithersBoss with a zero instead of a O because the name was taken, sadly, by someone who doesn't even use their Twitter, which is so frustrating, honestly. Um, okay, so once we've deleted that, we're going to bring a stone border all the way around and mark out where we have our stone. Remember, it's one block over the rest of the build, and that should be pretty simple to follow. Okay, so taking this all the way along. Absolutely perfect. And then it should match up to the little courtyard we made earlier, and we can just fill in all of this in. Which is going to be absolutely awesome. Damn, this place is going to look so sweet and fresh when it's done. I like that about this house. Honestly, sweet, sweet stuff. Okay, so take it this all the way along. Boom, 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 boom. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Okay, so. Once we finish this, I think we do a little bit more of the little planters out the front. And then we should be good to go. And uh, I could tell you a few ideas for maybe interior. We could add a little staircase. And then I'm going to outro the video, honestly. I think we should be pretty good. Um, okay, let's do this. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Fill in all of that in here. And that should, should be good for the stone. Okay, nice. Now, we're going to grab our dirts again. And we are going to leave a 1, 2, 3, uh, maybe a 2 block gap. And we're just going to place... More of that. So let's sprinkle our dirt in again. We're going to go and grab our coarse dirt. Oh, that is blue wool, not coarse dirt, I must say. Um, like so. And let's let's actually bring it along one as well. Place some little bit, little bit of leaves sprinkled about there. Grab ourselves our tall grass, which we need. Uh, I don't want to place that there. I want to place it there, maybe. There we go. Perfect. Okay. Uh, add that there. Little white tulip. Go in and grab our normal grass. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Uh, our Azure bullets, which are there. And uh, actually, maybe if we grab ourselves a large fern. Oh no, the large fern's already there. We don't need to do that. I put a grass there. Nice, nice stuff. This could then be a two wide path coming out to the front of the house. And you could have maybe a street here, a little road, and all of that jazz. Let's just take that out a little bit more. You guys get the gist. Under here, I was thinking maybe you could park your cars under here. You know, I've got a lot of tutorials on my channel if you want to head over there and have a look. Um, a lot of cars and all of that good stuff. On the back here, you could easily have a swimming pool. Like, uh, you know, don't get me wrong, there could be a swimming pool. And now all to finish off is the roof of this place. Okay, so let's have a little, little look here. What we are going to be doing is grabbing ourselves some quartz slabs, okay? Quartzy slabs, and we're going to take them all the way across. And finish off this build with a cheeky little roof. Okay, so we're going to grab quartz slabs and fill in all the negative space on the top of the house. Like so. Boom, 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 boom. Okay, sweet. You guys get the gist of it. Fill in it all in with the quartz. 
Hopefully, that should be pretty good. Um, yes, yes, yes. Okay, so, filling it all in now, guys. Take your time. Don't, don't worry about it. You don't have to go as quick as I am. If you want to make adjustments uh, on your own accord, you can do so. Like I said, I'm just here to give you the inspiration and the motivation to build the house. You guys can put your own little creative twist on it. That's the beauty of Minecraft is what I always say. Um, so creative, so awesome. And uh, it just gets everyone's ideas flowing, I think, honestly. Quartz slabs all the way along. Perfect, 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 perfect. Filling that in, and we have this inside. Now, we need to make a little staircase area, which I was thinking it could go um, potentially, 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 potentially. Um, well, actually, let me drop down for a second. I need to drop down and have a little think about this. We need a staircase, and where should we put it? I'm pretty certain along the back of this. So we're going to grab our quartz stairs and we are going to start placing one, two, three, four, and five. And hopefully that will break up somewhere in the top of the house. Uh, no, it's not. It's going to break there. So we're going to get rid of that and we're going to bring it up to, let's see. There should be fine, actually. And we're going to grab our quartz blocks, of course, our full quartz blocks. And we're going to place a little... Uh, Little stair banister area should be fine. Don't really like how that's looking. Of course, uh, you can always change any of this, guys. It's just my little uh, personal preference. Maybe we could have a little spiral staircase. Honestly, I feel like that's gonna fit in the build a lot nicer. So, delete a little block. So one, two, three, four, five. A three by three block in the ceiling. That should be enough for a spiral staircase. Uh, don't worry about that. Fill that block in there. Oh, fill that block in there. And you want to have a center block. So, where are we going? Uh, let's bring... Oh, that is definitely not centered. Um, there. Should be fine. Oh, we'll use wool. We just need a center block. It's fine. So, you have that there going like so. And what we can start doing is slowly, slowly but surely, creating a little spiral pattern with these stairs like so. And it should slowly, slowly go up like this. You guys will know what a spiral staircase is. You know, you've watched Harry Potter and all that good stuff. Um... Going up like this. Oh, can I get up there? Thank you very much. And you should end up just, you know, on the top floor somewhere. And what you can do is seal off anything like that. So now maybe what we have to do is take this along here. And like I said, we have to adjust things sometimes in Minecraft. And we have a little one block gap to get onto our balcony, which, you know, isn't ideal. Um, we're actually going to have to fill that in now. That's going to be really sad. Uh, okay, don't worry about that. Fill that in there. Like so. You may like think it's pretty pretty annoying that I'm changing things, but honestly, guys, it's for it's for the sake of the build. What we can have is a little entrance there. I think that's going to be best onto this balcony. Fill that in with some glass just up the top of there, and we can have a little entrance there. And now what we can do is go and grab our normal glass panes and just seal off. Um, let's see where that's going. Boom. Okay. Uh, like I said, normal glass panes and just sealing off the top here like so. Delete that there, place that so we don't have any connected glass, which we don't want. Fill that into there, and that should be good to go. Fill that in like that, so that's a little glass barrier. Boom. Perfect, perfect stuff. That can break through and be placed with that. Because now our final, final piece of the build is to place carpet on the top of the roof. So grab yourself some white carpet, fill all of this in on the top. All of the stuff, let's see, fill it all in. Perfect, 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 perfect. What we could do actually is go in and grab our grave carpet and place that on top of there because, you know, that would that would be like that anyway. So, it's very hard to see. What I could do is honestly turn my shaders mod off and uh, you guys will be able to see what I'm doing uh, a little bit better, you know, about the shaders mod, which, which is absolutely fine. Okay, there we go. We can actually see what we're doing. So, carpet, carpet, carpet along the roof. And we should honestly be good to go. Good to freaking go. Place it along here. Now, I think what we should do is leave the blocks here. So, the carpet will only come up to um, to where the start of the balcony is. Let's change that to the weather clear again. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Filling in all this awesome carpet. Now, this just means the uh, quartz slab ceiling we put in doesn't show. It doesn't look all ugly from the outside, and you can only see it from the inside, you know. That's uh, that's what we initially want, and that's the reason for this carpet. Okay, coming on to 40 minutes now in this recording. That's pretty freaking crazy um, for a modern house. But at least you guys have something awesome to build in Minecraft. Okay, filling in all the carpet now. 
Perfect, perfect, perfect. There we go. Boom, 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 boom. Okay. Fill it all in. We should be very, very close to be done. Just this last square, I think. Awesome stuff. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12. And we are done, boys and girls, for this modern house. Leaving the carpet uh, at this gap here. So you can see where the carpet ends. Very, very nice. Let's go in and whack our shaders back on. Chocopic V6 shaders mod. If any of you are wondering, that's the one I use. It's taking a little bit while because the settings are turned up. There we freaking go. That is the modern house. What do you guys think? Tell me in the comment section below. Give me and Jay's some positive feedback about what you think of this house. And if you would like some more Minecraft modern houses for you guys to, you know, enjoy, build, and build along. And it will be absolutely amazing. Hopefully you have enjoyed. Go to check out my channel. There's lots of, uh, you know, modern houses, apartment buildings, vehicles. I've, you know, said it throughout the video a few times. Go check it out. Subscribe if you do like what you see here. And, of course, like this video as well. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you have enjoyed. Love you guys all so much. Stay creative. And we'll see you in the next video. See you guys.